So I'm sticking the guard ring on the chicken coop so we can collect water just to... It, it's making a mess right there of where it runs off the roof so I figured it's about time to put some guttering on and I had a rain barrel to spare so we can use that for the ducks and the chickens so I um, wanted to get it up as high as possible just so it's easier to use this so you can fit buckets under it and have a short hose on it and stuff so I had this stump laying around actually it's not even a stump it's the top of those cherry trees so I used that and I got the barrel leveled out and everything. I'm going to probably ratchet strap it down just because, I mean, if it's ever empty, it's really pretty light. So I'm just finishing up installing the downspout. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything fancy. I've just got the T piece on there and I'm going to just have it go straight into the top of the barrel. I'm not sure if I can do this one handed though. So but anyway, yep, it's going to come down like that and just point straight into the barrel there and I'll show you everything once it's all set up. Alright, so she's pretty much done. Um, also, you'll see in the test of the water it leaks out of there. It got cracked a while ago, this was just a spare piece I had. It's never going to rain hard enough to actually come out of there. It's only because I dump an entire bucket of water up there that it comes through. But as you can see, it's fixed. We did have to change a couple of things. Um, this wasn't stable enough, so I dug it into the ground a bit. Also helped to level it out. Um, and then we just cut a hole in the filter there to support the bottom of the pipe. Um, put the end cap on it, and let me see if I can show you up above. Because I cut through the filter down there to hold the pipe, I've just put one of the little aluminum grills up here, but there you go. Got a couple of screw holes that were in the bottom of the guttering, in fact there's one right there that I need to just put a bit of silicon in just so they don't leak out, but it's not designed to be 100% waterproof, it's designed to collect whatever rain it can. So, but that project's done. We'll see how it does. We're supposed to get rain for the next three days, so I'm curious to see how full this gets and how stable it is. Right now it's pretty solid, but it definitely could do with the weight in the barrel. I mean, there's a bit of water in the bottom from the bucket test, but other than that, she's all set and I'm going to go eventually put another one of these out front on the house guttering which will collect a lot more water and there'll be a string of barrels but that will have a diverter and everything like that this one being just chicken and duck water I didn't worry about too much about grit and stuff getting into the bottom and it's a metal roof so it's only really going to be the stuff off the butternut tree and the pine tree getting up there and bird detritus and stuff so we'll see how clean it comes out but it should be good and I'll show you the other ones when I get around to it